Welcome back everyone. I'm guessing by now you have a pretty good idea about the use query hook. The use query hook is used to fetch data. The first argument is a unique key. The second argument is a fetcher function. And the third argument is an object where we can specify options or configurations to tweak its behavior. The hook also returns a number of values which we can use to render the components JSX. Although this is great for small applications, for larger apps, you might want to reuse the data fetching logic. For example, the same query might be required in a different component. One approach would be to duplicate the code we've written here. However, we all know that is not the best way to write code. What we need is a way to reuse the use query hook. In this video, let's learn how to create a custom hook that wraps around the use query hook. That will allow us to call the custom hook from multiple components without having to duplicate the code. Let's begin. Our first step is to create a new file which will contain the custom query hook. For this series, I'm going to place all custom hooks in a separate hooks folder. So within the source folder, create a new folder called hooks. Within the folder, create a new file called use superheroesdata.js. The file name is of course a personal convention. I started with use since it is a hook and I followed that with what the hook is retrieving, which is a list of superheroes in our case. Finally, I append data to clarify this hook is related to data fetching or remote data in general. Let's begin by defining the hook. A hook is nothing but a function. So const use superheroes data is equal to an arrow function. Now this hook is simply a wrapper around the use query hook. So let's move the use query hook from our react query superheroes page within the custom hook. So I'm going to cut and paste. We have a couple of errors, so let's fix them. First, use query import is missing, so let's move it. Cut and paste. Next, the fetcher function is also missing, so let's move it as well. I'm going to cut it and paste it in the custom hook file. Finally, we need Axios for the fetcher function, so move the import statement. Now we still have errors for on success and on error. Typically, you wouldn't want these functions defined as reusable functions. The component would be in control of what happens when the query succeeds or errors out. So we are going to specify them as parameters on success and on error. Finally, to ensure this hook can be called from different components, we return the result of use query, so return and export this custom hook. This is pretty much our custom query hook. All we have done is move code from the component into a separate function. Back in our component, we now call use superheroes data, passing in on success and on error. Make sure to import the hook at the top. Everything else remains the same. If we save all the files and head back to the browser, refresh, and you can see our query still works and we have the onSuccess handler also working as expected. Now one preference I have is to use two separate parameters 
if we just have on success and on error that the component is in charge of. If more options or configurations need to be passed in, I prefer passing the arguments as an object instead of multiple parameters. You can of course choose what you're comfortable with. But this is pretty much how you create a custom query hook. Define the fetcher function, wrap the use query hook and pass in arguments if necessary. Now I have a small piece of homework for you. I want you to create a brand new component and display the list of superheroes using the custom query hook we have just built. However, I also want you to ensure the data is fetched when the component mounts in React Query Superheroes page, whereas the data should only be fetched when you click a button in the new component. Give it a try and let me know in the comment section if you were able to achieve it. I'll see you in the next video.